Hey guys and welcome back to another video. We just got our first look at Geonosis today. Um, community translation from Ben Walk just released on the, the EA Battlefront forums. And uh, it looks to be an like, incredible map. An open map with uh, all out warfare as they call it. We will have some new vehicles. We will have the ATTE. And here we have a GIF picture of how it will look in game. Um, and this will be the first vehicle who is not picked from the spawn screen. That you act it's actually going to be dropped on the ground. And you can uh, fully control them and uh, pick them up whenever you see an ATT. Uh, we also have the faces here. Phase 1, reactivate the damage ATT. The first phase is very much focused on infantry combat with the clones needing to call in reinforcements and reactivate a damaged ATT. During this phase, the objective of the droids is to stop them. This phase will take place in a typical Genosis Canyon plate of pathways to cover available. Then we have phase 2, hard cell troop transport. The second phase marks the shift from infantry to uh, vehicle combat. The vehicles now will come into play. The tight canyons will give way to vast battlefront, meaning a change in tactics and gameplay will be required. The objective during this phase is to bring down or defend, depend depending on your team, to hard cell troop transport, mechanically and gameplay wise. This objective is a mixture of the destroy objective as seen on crate with the generators and walkers. The, the hard cell troop transport are static objects that the clones need to destroy before they run out of tickets. However, they need to be weakened before serious damage can be dealt to them, similar to walkers. This can be uh, achieved uh, by using the special abilities of the ATTs. Uh, this ties into the overarching theme of Genosis and the ATTs being the cornerstone of the battle. So it's, it will be kind of uh, like Walker Assault in Battlefront 1, uh, similar, and uh, yeah, that's really exciting. Uh, phase 3 Secure Turbo Lasers. The third phase is an all-out attack by the clones. The goal is to recapture some abandoned turbo lasers to take down the droid core ship. During this phase, the droids must do everything that they can to defend the turbo lasers or uh, loss will be imminent. Gameplay-wise, this is a capture point, but with a twist. As noted earlier, we didn't want to create a narrow funnel, to uh, narrow funnel towards the end of this battle, so this capture point is actually 200 meters wide. Jesus Christ. You may be inclined to think that this could turn into an infinitely contested objective. To prevent this from being f from occurring, uh, the capture point can only be captured by the ATTs. In addition to this, the capture can't be contested. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, this capture is an area where the clones know that they need to escort the ATTs into the area so they can capture it. Uh, at the same time, the droid uh, can see this slow moving giants approach from a distance and plan accordingly. Uh, the intent here is to create the feeling of a battle where the game is not won or lost by a single person sneaking in and taking an objective, rather it's an entire army moving towards and playing the objective together. Okay, so this look pretty amazing guys. It will be a really open map, it will be similar to Walker Assault and we will have uh, dynamic vehicles dropping from the sky, uh, not from the sky, from a uh, from, uh, transport. <laughs> Uh, and here you can, you can see a picture from uh, from Dice working on Frostbite engine. Make it bigger. Uh, living world to bring the uh, bell. Okay, yeah, yeah, this is like the environment around the bell with like uh, Genosians, uh, fights, bells, everything, ships. There will also be a sandstorm between phase um, two and three. So that's also pretty cool. And we are going to have the uh, OG9 homing spider droid. But it will not be playable, unfortunately. It will not be playable. Um, but it will be there and it will be AI. Design process, blah blah blah. Battle Genosis. And here we have a pick of Obi-Wan Kenobi. In the testing um, screen. 
and you can see that he has 750 health and uh, his lifesaver will be blue later so but it looks pretty incredible you can also see his robes here um, his Jedi robes so yeah I'm pretty excited guys uh, tell me what you think in the comment section below and uh, get hyped for Grievous and Kenobi I'll see you all later and don't forget keep hunting <laughs>